people welcome back to my channel my name is faith i'm a men's personal style consultant and personal shopper based in nigeria today's video is for personal shoppers or if you're looking to go into the personal shopping business yay first of all i want to say a big thank you to every single one of you that has watched my previous videos the one where i'm spilling the tea about personal shopping the one where i'm talking about if it's profitable to run a personal shopping business in nigeria and the one where i'm answering frequently asked questions about pricing charges and all of that if you want to start the personal shopping business i posted that last year i have been seeing your comments and i've been trying my best to respond to every single comment because i know so many people have viewed these videos these videos form a part of my most watched videos i want to say a big thank you and i want to believe some of you subscribe to my channel because of that recently i crossed the 500 subscriber count um, milestone for monetization that's the first step i still need to eat a thousand subscribers so please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to in today's video i'm going to be doing a very short master class if you may call it on how to start a personal shopping business in 2024 if you've watched any of those three videos you will know that i don't hold information i'm not um, stingy with information at all so before i go into the things i'm going to share with you i want to hold you to watch those three videos because anything i don't mention here i would have mentioned in those videos that's one two is that i actually have a personal shopping consultation because of the inquiries that have come from those videos i had to design a consultation specifically for personal shopping it is 40 minutes and currently i charge thirty-five thousand naira i have been charging the same thirty-five thousand naira since 2022 the price is going to change very soon if you're nigerian you know that anything you bought 35,000 naira last year or even 2022 it is not 35,000 naira again if you're paying via pay stack it would be 35,700 because of the charges on that platform but you can pay via direct bank transfer before the price goes to 45,000 naira or even 50,000 naira it is 40 minutes consultation and anything we are unable to cover i definitely recommend that you book more sessions you will get a discount if you are booking an additional session speaking about personal shopping how to do your pricing like i literally break it down to be honest it's not if my videos can be that elaborate you can imagine what a one-on-one -on -one consultation and holding your hands to actually help you start your own personal shopping business would be like it is thorough i don't i don't hide stuff no i don't do that because i don't want to lose my line of thought i have written down the things that i want to talk about today and i have broken everything i'm going to say down into six different points i need to mention that personal shopping is not restricted to fashion and clothing and accessories that's just the area of specialization that i am into okay so you can be a personal shopper for air you can be a personal shopper for baby things you can be a personal shopper for even food stuff maybe you are shipping from nigeria to other countries you know and several other things however even as a personal shopper for shoes clothes bags menswear women's wear and all of that i have helped my clients shop other things i've shown some of them on this channel i've shopped like skincare products i've shopped fragrances i've shopped bath and body works and stuff like that i've even shopped remotes like tv remotes and stuff like that so you are not restricted it's the same procedure if you are buying stuff from overseas at least for uk and us that i am very familiar with okay my first point that i will be talking about is research if you want to start personal shopping in 2024 you need to do your findings you need to do your research why do you want to start have you seen other personal shoppers and you're like okay i have a eye for finding nice things okay because you need to have an eye for that there are so many personal shoppers now so you need to be able to stand out in some way is it that you're able to get the best deals is it that you're able to find things that are not as common there are certain people that they don't like wearing what everybody is wearing even if it's zara they want to be able to find that thing that looks like ah is not everywhere so you need to do your research you need to look at what is going to be your unique selling point as a personal shopper it could be that it's men's things you want to be shopping and you want to be shopping specific things like certain kind of leather wear for men or accessories sunglasses you want to specialize in sunglasses for men or wristwatches 
or underwear you know do your research what are the things that you want to be shopping okay and in doing your research that means you are spending time researching brands that are doing these things whether in the uk or us which is my own area of concentration you can shop from dubai you can shop from other countries you can shop from turkey you can shop from china you know there are people that teach you out to do that i don't know so much about shopping from china do you understand so you can shop from italy you can shop from paris do you understand what i mean so you have to do your research what do you want to be selling or what do you want to be helping people shop that's the first thing the second thing is from which country or countries do you want to be shopping from do you want to be shopping only from uk when i started i only used to shop from uk until i was able to do my research to the point where i understood the u.s market i understood their timeline i understood their charges i understood how they did their weight conversion in the uk they use kg in the u.s they use lbs lbs is double the size of kg so you have to be able to, so that you don't get confused and so that you don't undercharge do you understand so you need to do your research is it u.s how long does it take if you are shopping the same thing from u.s and uk and they are leaving uk and u.s the same day how long is it going to take ask yourself which country do, you, do i want to shop from all right the other thing you want to do your research on are who are your prospective clients and it will also help in your research the kind of things you want to be shopping do you want to be shopping high street items or do you want to be shopping luxury items or do you want to be shopping the two or do you want to be shopping the low end the five pound that's how i started there's no shame in it you know how much the naira to dollar is or dollar to naira is now five pounds is not small money anymore but that's where i started from you don't necessarily have to start from there you can start from 50 pounds you can put a benchmark to the kind of things that you want to be shopping you can start from 500 pounds you can say you only shop things from 500 pounds and above it depends on who your prospective clients are who are the kind of people you want to be selling to do you want to be selling to high net worth clients i want to sell to students i want to sell to middle class i want to sell to people that work in banks regular jobs and all of that so you have to do your research on prospective clients as well the second thing you are going to be thinking about if you want to start a personal shopping business which flows from my first point of research is shipping what kind of shipping do you want to be doing it's very very important that you do a standalone research on shipping because shipping is a problem what kind of shipping do i I want to be doing do i want to be doing direct shipping that is you shop directly from the company and then it comes to you in nigeria or you want to go through a cargo agent all right or you want to go through dhl that's an expedited shipping ups all these other expedited shipping platforms if you are shipping directly for instance um, by directly i mean that you are buying the item you pay on the site and you put your nigerian address so for anyone that's missed it i'm based in nigeria so that's why i'm using nigeria it's you can use whatever your country is for instance if you are i got an inquiry from someone that is based in is it the netherlands or so so if you're based in the netherlands are you shopping items from let's say from london or you're shopping items from ghana or you're shopping items from nigeria how do you want it do you want them to deliver to you directly in netherlands or you want it to be that they will definitely if they're shipping directly to you they are probably using ups or dhl or you want a cargo agent that ships things in bulk and then they will bring it to you which will reduce your costs but it's also taking longer time so back to my nigerian example so you are, you want to ask yourself do you want to be buying your items directly from whichever company and then it's come to meet you in your house that is going to attract custom charges if that's the case you have to familiarize yourself with certain things that is allowed to come into the country customs uh prohibitions and whatnot there are certain things they don't allow that it is through the agreement of cargo agents that these things can come in for instance i know there was a time they put a restriction on perfumes from the u.s coming to nigeria but if you if you're using a cargo agent they'll tell you they don't ship perfumes but some of them have agreements to be able to ship perfumes for those that actually stock perfumes in nigeria on a larger scale so it's not like they are bringing in banned items it's just that they have clearance specific cargo agents have clearance to ship those in the same applies to furniture and some other things so if you want to shop it directly you may not be able to ship it in if there is a restriction on it or the custom duty on it or the charges on it the the custom yeah custom duty 
maybe so much that you wouldn't have you won't make it you will make a loss the first time i did that i was in south africa and i shopped items from the uk to south africa and by the time the items came to meet me in south africa because of the shipping um this thing the cost of duty was three or, or, or two or three times the cost of the item itself and i was not aware so you need to familiarize yourself with what shipping method do you want to use do you want to use an agent a cargo agent do you want to use a shipping company that does expedited shipping, the UPS, the UA, whatever, do you want to ship directly from the company you are buying the item from and they will determine whether it's UPS they will use or they will use DHL. Do you understand? Because if you want to also use DHL by yourself, that means that you send your item to that place and you maybe you have a DHL account. It's easier that way. Instead of the company doing that for you because if it's from the company, they may not be able to help you negotiate anything. If you have a DHL account, you probably have a discount or something. Finally, you have to ask yourself so you want to do monthly shipping when i started in my first video i talked about this i was doing monthly shipping so that the cost of shipping would reduce for clients compared to if i'm shipping one one item per clients for instance a client sends a, an order and their own shipping cost is about eighty thousand. whereas when i was doing the monthly shipping by the time i spread the shipping cost their shipping cost may just be twenty five thousand. do you understand so that's what i was doing before but some clients don't mind they don't want you to, to collect everything before you ship their own they want their own now 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 do you understand so do you want to be doing the two do you want to do the one where do monthly shipping no but i also do weekly shipping so that you can let your clients know on your page or wherever you are advertising yourself that i do monthly shipping your cost will be lesser i also do let me ship for you individually and it will come so and so and so day so you can explain to them or you can also tell them i do expedited shipping so if you need the item tomorrow or in two days time i do a shipping where it is two to three days you'll get it regular shipping maybe seven to ten days monthly shipping obviously is at the end of the month or something so you need to do your research on the cost implication of that for the different categories of shipping if you want to incorporate all of that or if you want to stick to one because you don't want your head to blow you know those cat <laughs> yeah that's why i tell you it's just monthly shipping you want to be doing and you just put your mind that monthly shipping if it's just weekly shipping put your mind that it's only weekly shipping if it's just expedited shipping only expedited shipping so that it helps to tailor the kind of clients that will be coming to you as well there are also third party shipping agents which i'm going to get back to in my other points number three charges based on the countries that you have researched from that you want to be buying your things from you need to familiarize yourself with the different charges if you are using a cargo agent there are certain charges that they ask for that are non-negotiable charges for instance there's something called handling charge if you are shopping from the uk even from the us there's handling charge handling charge is fixed it is non-negotiable you can't negotiate it i don't know what the current handling charge is but sometimes i think for uk it's to be 25 pounds then there is shipping fee shipping fee is the cost of shipping it into the country whether it is dhl you're using or you're using a cargo agent they normally charge per the size so sometimes they charge per kg some shipping companies do per kg and they'll tell you there's no minimum shipping whereas some companies do minimum shipping meaning you have to ship not your minimum shipping they some will tell you it's 5 kg some will tell you it's 10 some will even tell you it's 20 kg meaning that if you're shipping one thing and it's not up to the weight the required weight they will bill you at the minimum shipping weight all right if you're also doing dhl as well if what you are shipping the box is so big dhl will use volumetric weights it's like the space that the box is containing even if it's a pen that is inside instead of using the actual weight of the item it will depend on the thing that it is carrying like the box itself so you also have to ask your clients do you want your items to come in their boxes because if that's the case the weight and the shipping charge will be different if this thing is going to this small thing is going to take big space you pay for that space not the actual weight of the item so that they can understand why their shipping cost is like that you get me so you have to consider shipping charges you have to consider handling charge if you're using a cargo agent you have to consider the shipping cost also before i forget you have to incorporate delivery charges both internationally local 
I will explain and then local. Internationally, local is when you make an order, there's going to be a delivery charge from wherever you have ordered this from to whoever is going to be taking delivery of it, whether it's going to a cargo agent's um, office address or it's going to your friend or relative's address. The only time you don't need to bother about that is if it's coming directly to you where you pay shipping fees, custom duty and all of that. And even for that, many times you don't know what your custom duty is until it has arrived. That's why I said you can also incorporate it in your invoice to clients that shipping charge will be communicated once item has arrived do you understand because if they be shopping via dhl they will know that you don't know what your custom duty is until it arrives so that you don't miscalculate you don't want that charge do you understand and also so that you don't overcharge certain clients for certain things and if you ever overcharge please be honest enough to let your client know that you overcharged if you miscalculated let your client know that you miscalculated that way they'll be able to trust you and patronize you even further then you have to consider how much are you going to charge your own personal shopping fee your service charge all right because the personal shopping industry is unregulated people determine their own prices you are the one that knows based on the things i've said in the other points on research the countries they're shopping from the unique selling points that are bringing to your clients how you are communicating with your clients maybe you always let them know there's a deal whatsoever it is that is your own unique selling points that makes you stand out will determine what your service charge is you can also decide that you want to charge based on the cost of what the client is ordering which is what some of these cargo agents that double as personal shoppers do they will tell you 15 percent uh if you are shopping anything 200 pounds and below if it's 500 pounds and above or 200 pounds to 500 pounds 10 percent if it's 500 pounds to this like that so you can have different charges based on the cost of what you are buying for your clients and you can also have a fixed charge to say you know what whatever it is you are buying my service charge is 35,000 naira, or my service charge is 50,000 naira, or my service do you understand so you have to determine your charge based on what you are offering as a personal shopping service the fifth point I'm going to be talking about is a third party in personal shopping business you can do it directly you can do it through a third party what do I mean by third party or even a second party you can go through a cargo agent cargo agents are not limited to shipping your items some of them can help you double as personal shoppers in those countries meaning that they can help you shop especially with restrictions on our cards when you are unable to use your card to pay directly on a website on a foreign website a cargo agent can help you to shop and they will just collect a commission for shopping so they are like a second party and also you can make arrangements that okay i will be shopping my items but i want you to help me to check the items because I've shared here that I've bought some things and they came defective, two left legs and all those kind of things. Some agents don't open the boxes except to specifically say they should. All right, so you need to speak to your agents that, okay, do you offer personal shopping services? Some of them are now incorporating it where they help you to do the shopping. And then when they do the shopping, they are able to help you collate your items. They can tell you they will consolidate your items so that the weight will come together. If you insist that they should be shipping it more, one one item but you just be ready to pay another third party could be that maybe you have a friend that has relocated you can speak to the friend can you be helping me to shop can you be helping me to go in store can you be helping me to take pictures live pictures that i can post on my page or tell me check out deals and then you can come together have an agreement on how much you'll be paying your friend for doing that service for you do you understand obviously if you come to a proper agreement it may not be as expensive as using an agent or maybe you have a family member a relative that can do that for you so they help you shop help you collect the items and ship it off to your agents when you are ready to ship do you understand sometimes you order items for a client from different websites and they don't arrive together they don't arrive at the same time for most agents they'll just ship it as it's coming but if you have a relative a friend they can help you wait for everything to come so that you can ship everything together so that the client does not have separate shipping charges and you can communicate that with your clients that i'm going to wait for all your items to come because we didn't buy them from the same place and their delivery timelines are different another third party route that you can take is to use there are certain companies now they are like cargo agents that ship things from different countries for people an example is gig we also have top ship and clasher where they have inbuilt links for you to shop directly on some of these popular websites like Zara, Amazon and all of that. They've developed their app in such a way that you can shop directly through their app 
on this website like Clasha. You can shop from Fashion Nova on Clasha. You just open an account with them. Also because of this, oh, you can't use your card, you can't use your card. So you will have a virtual dollar card on those platforms. And then you consolidate all your orders on the app. And then they will send you a cost. So you are paying in Naira. They are the ones that will sort out how it is being paid in dollar or pound or whatever. And they will deliver to your house. Do you understand? So they will bypass all those custom charges, blah, blah, blah. They will be the ones to sort it out. They are just a third party shopper for you. Okay, so I've mentioned three. You can do your findings to find out others. Those are the ones that I know. That's another third party platform thing that you can use to shop your items if you are based in Nigeria and you want to start a personal shopping business. My final point is how to shop directly with card restrictions, exchange rate issues, and so on. How do you start a personal shopping business with this entire Naira devaluation every single day? What I'm going to suggest here is that there are some of these companies that are coming into Nigeria. You have to find a way to thrive in the midst of whatever it is that looks like is gloomy. You can go into the stores that are based in Nigeria. Do London is here. There is Aldo. There is uh, Adidas. There is Puma. There are some other companies, Pandora, that are already here. If you can go in store, introduce yourself as a personal shopper, get a contact that lets you know when they have new items in stock, and you can do physical personal shopping for clients in Nigeria. You don't always have to buy things from abroad. Where you are able to buy the one from abroad, buy. I've shared how you can do that. The other thing is, if you're able to buy in store here, because the personal shopping industry is now saturated. Many clients can even shop on their own now. Many people know how to use virtual dollar card to shop on their own. So what is going to make you stand out? Why will someone come to hire you? You can tell them that you are going to help them. You ease the stress of shopping for them. So some people hate shopping. Some people don't like browsing through websites. That could be an added service that you can bring to the table that, okay, I'm going to help you to do your searching and finding options for you. And all you have to do is to just click and shop, all right? You can tell them that I go in store for you whether and you can face your other businesses while I help you do the shopping and you make an arrangement with them so that they can come in store to do some in-store fittings and whatnot. And it doesn't have to be just the popular stores. Go into the malls around you and see what is new introduce yourself politely that you're a personal shopper you're just coming to check out what's new in store for your clients they're not going to chase you away with card restrictions you have to get a virtual dollar card that you can recharge and use on these platforms or use the other alternatives i've talked about use a cargo agent use a third party person that you sign naira to and they're able to convert to dollar or pound wherever they are and they'll be able to help you shop based on the other questions i've seen on my channel someone has talked about how to get brands to shop from it's part of research you need to do your research don't only propose to your clients popular brands there are thousands and thousands of brands that are popping up all the time and you can always compare their products you can compare and just subscribe to these brands subscribe to their newsletters so that you can be updated when they have discounts and you can inform your clients as well somebody said if i want to shop from uk or us how will i get someone that will send samples to me without going there i've talked about this now like you have a, a cargo agent or you have a third party person that can be helping you go in store and see the item and even if you talk to some people some of the brands and just speak to them send emails to them and you can let them know that you're a personal shopper you're based in nigeria you would like a shopping assistance that can be communicating certain things to you so they can be kind enough to let you know someone was asking that how can they track their items if you are shopping directly you'll be able to track directly if you're shopping with a cargo agent speak to your cargo agents let them know the duration i think that's something i also missed duration how long does it take if items leave also so day because items don't leave at the same time cargo agents have specific days that they ship out some ship out on thursday some on friday i mentioned all of these things in my previous videos so i really encourage you to watch those videos also what do i tell the customer when they have another for me do i just calculate and tell them the price of everything they need to pay for how do i go about it in terms of pricing i've mentioned that you have to incorporate all these charges and then your own personal shopping fee if you're unsure of how much the shipping cost is going to be you have to calculate shipping costs at an estimated value and let them know that shipping costs when you're sending your first invoice let them know shipping is not included if you're unsure shipping is not included until you get the items and you understand the weight after you have shopped a couple of times from a place you can almost determine what the size of the item is 
things. If it's a luxury item, you can put a cap on it because luxury items always come in very serious packaging and you don't want your luxury items to come without any of the packaging just in case you have to return the items to a client. So that way you can say, you know what, if you're shopping anything from a luxury brand, my minimum weight is 10 kg or is 15 kg or whatever and you explain to the client. 15 kg is based on the packaging that it comes in and I definitely recommend that you let everything come in the original packaging in case there's a need to return the item you can return it as it has come because for luxury you don't want to hear story you have to return it the way they got it everyone asking me about my logistics you have to use my i cannot recommend a logistics company on the channel and then you have a terrible experience and then you say it's because I recommend it. So if you come into my consultation, I'm able to give you heads up because obviously you can't, I personally, you can't, I don't have like one agent, all right? You have to, you have to be very smart in this business. Agents also have their issues, but that's not to say you can't get like good agents. Someone was asking that I won't be the one shopping. Can someone do the shopping for me? Definitely. I've talked about how you can get a relative that can do that. How can you make payments on international website? You you have to get a virtual dollar card or you get someone that is based there that you can send naira to and they help you do the shopping what's the best cargo you can recommend again i can't recommend a best cargo you know i i always recommend clients and subscribers to do their you have to do your findings yourself and compare and contrast and i also recommend that you try shopping for yourself first just to test the process to test how long it took from when you shopped when you ordered to when it arrived do you need a car to be a personal show no you don't need a car <laughs> Yeah, so this is where I'm going to be drawing the curtains. I hope I've broken down all the steps on how to start a personal shopping business. How to keep the business going is an entirely different ball game because the competition is quite stiff now. But these are the things that you need to know before you start. I highly recommend that you test run using your own items. Let the client know there are charges that you have no control over. There is a way they measure in terms of weight. There is an international local delivery right there if you're using an agent also let the clients know the different options of shipping whether it's a cargo whether it's direct whether it's expedited so that they can make a choice so that you don't delay a client's item when they would definitely prefer to use the expedited don't be helping them think that ah the shipping is more than the cost of no 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 let a client know this is the shipping cost never be afraid to let them know the cost of the service that you are charging and never undercharge like short change yourself for your own personal shopping charge let them know there's a service charge for the service you are rendering incorporate other things that makes you a preferred personal shopper your unique selling points and all of that and let them know that once the item gets to nigeria there is a local delivery charge to their own house it is different always tell them i always incorporate when i put my charges i say it is inclusive of doorstep delivery so you would have calculated everything together to know how much does if which company are you using locally are you using gig are you using whatever do your own calculation to know how much do they deliver to doorstep to a certain place how do you want to be delivering your things you want to be using bike do you want to be using a luxurious beautiful car do you want to use uber you have to do all of those findings based on popular demand let me know if you want to know how to keep your personal shopping business running even in this economic meltdown but i've already shared some tips here on how to do that how to diversify your personal shopping business if there is any further question that you want to ask me please book a consultation it is not expensive based on the value you're going to be getting i hope i've been able to answer as many questions as possible based on the previous videos and also to elaborate further on how to start a personal shopping business in nigeria i got a question from someone that was asking me if you can get a personal shopping service in ghana meaning they want someone to do their shopping for them here from nigeria and yes if you're watching this video yes i can shop and deliver to you anywhere you are in the world i do expedited shipping if you want me to do any shopping for you send me a message and i would send you the link for a fashion concierge of your choice a personal shopping service of your choice if you want to just you just want me to do the search for you and you want to shop on your own i can also do that thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it i hope you found it insightful please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe help me to tell your other friends and family
family members and colleagues and personal shoppers to subscribe to my channel and um, engage with this video like the video so that the algorithm can do its thing and take it to more potential personal shoppers or those that are struggling so they can come and watch and you will not be overwhelmed with what you need to know about starting a personal shopping business i wish you the very best in your personal shopping business especially if you are in nigeria and the economy is stressing you out i pray you get your own clients i pray that it will be easy for you and i pray that you will break even and even accumulate enough profits to be able to thrive in the business thank you once again for watching i'll see you in my next video bye